For anyone just starting to experiment with bread making, this naan is a great way to get started. It doesn't require a ton of ingredients, it has a pretty quick rise time, and the cooking method is really simple. So this should be a pretty quick one, not to mention that it's super delicious, so I'm sure you'll be hooked as soon as you make it for the first time. So to make this naan, we'll just start by mixing together our dry ingredients. So go ahead and add 310 grams of bread flour to a bowl, along with 5 grams of yeast, 9 grams of salt, and 18 grams of sugar, and whisk those all together until they're thoroughly incorporated. In a separate bowl, combine 6 ounces of warm water at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit with 14 grams of olive oil and 42 grams of yogurt with at least some fat content. You don't necessarily have to use full fat yogurt, but for the best results, just avoid using non-fat. Whisk those all together until they're thoroughly incorporated. Then just slowly add the wet ingredients into the bowl containing the dry ingredients as you stir everything together. I like to start off by stirring with a fork and then transition to using my hands as the dough starts to come together. Now you'll want to knead just for a couple of minutes until the dough smooths out a bit. You don't need to go crazy with the kneading, but we're basically just trying to bring everything together and develop a bit of gluten in the dough. As you can see, I just knead within the bowl itself, so there's no need to transfer to a separate surface if you don't want to. Of course, feel free to add a bit more flour as necessary if the dough starts to get sticky. Once the dough has smoothed out a bit, just leave it in your bowl and dust it with a bit of flour to prevent it from sticking. Then just cover it and let it rest for about 60 to 90 minutes until about doubled in size. Now, for those of you who do make bread often, you know that slightly higher temperatures, around 80 degrees or so, are ideal for helping dough to rise. So what I like to do is place the bowl in my oven with the light on, and this will pretty much achieve the exact temperature that we're looking for. But if you can't do this for whatever reason, you can just let the dough rest at room temperature. It'll still work perfectly fine, it might just take slightly longer to double in size. In the meantime, we'll make our garlic butter to spread on the naan after it's cooked. This part is really simple, you'll just melt a whole stick of butter and add to that 3 cloves of grated or finely minced garlic, along with a few sprigs of cilantro and some salt to taste. Yes, you should even taste your butter, it might not taste good on its own but you'll know whether it's seasoned properly or not. So we'll just let that sit for the remainder of the rise time to allow the butter to absorb the flavors of the garlic and the cilantro. After that, you'll just want to hit the like button on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Now once your dough has doubled in size, just remove it from the bowl onto a lightly floured surface and roll it into a log which you can then divide up into 6 equal sized pieces using a bench scraper. At this point you'll also want to start preheating a heavy bottom pan like cast iron over medium high heat. We'll want to cook the naan in a dry skillet so don't add any oil here. Roll each piece into a ball as best as you can, rotating them like so to fold the edges underneath. Now just get out a rolling pin and roll out each piece to a thickness of about a quarter inch. Once the skillet is hot, just add each naan one at a time to the skillet and cook for about 1-2 to two minutes on each side. As the first side cooks, you'll see some large bubbles start to form, which is an indication that it's ready to flip. Obviously, just feel free to use your discretion here. If you like it a bit more charred, you can let it go longer, or if not, just cook it till it's lightly browned on each side. Immediately after you remove the naan from the skillet, brush it with your garlic butter and allow it to rest for at least a minute or two to absorb the flavor of the butter, and also to let it cool a bit. Keep in mind you can always remelt the butter in the microwave if it's solidified by the time you get to this point. But now you can garnish with more cilantro or anything else you like, and then just repeat that cooking process with the rest of the naan. This stuff is absolutely irresistible, especially if you're a bread lover like me. I'd just recommend finding someone to share it with so you're not tempted to eat it all in one sitting. I hope you all give it a try. So there you go. If you liked the video, please remember to hit the like button as it really helps me out and make sure to subscribe and also check out more of my videos which you can see on screen right here. I'll see you all in the next one.